Hello! Today you will be learning how to use the totally awesome tool of Google Forms. Why is it totally awesome, you say? Because it collects data for you, and it'll even make graphs and charts for you, so you don't have to do half the work. So I think that is amazing. So um, Google Forms are a great tool that teachers, I, well, I know I use all the time. One, to collect data, but then two, you can use them for tests and quizzes, um, which obviously you're not going to be creating those, but... Uh, today, I'm going to teach you why a form might be an asset to you. So you're going to go to File New and then go to More and Google Forms are there. Okay, And so all Google Forms start out looking like this. So obviously your first step is to give a t title. You can't really give a title until you've decided on a topic. And today I'm kind of giving you free range. You can use this time to be productive and make a survey that might help you um, for your paperclip project to generate data of information of what people want or to make persuasive statements about why your paperclip is awesome. So you could use a Google form for that purpose or for another class project, or you can just use this time to have fun with Google forms, which is also okay. Um, so let's say that I want to know everyone's favorite Christmas tradition. So I'll title it Christmas traditions. Um, learning about you and yours at Christmas time. Okay, so what I just did is I made a title and I made a subtitle explaining what's really happening here. Okay, this title and this title don't necessarily have to match, but it just makes sense if they do. Um, notice then right away they assume that I'm going to ask questions, which I am. But what's really great is right now that it shows that it's already a multiple choice question but that doesn't have to stay the same. And actually, Google, they kind of think things through for me. So let's say my first question um, is describe your favorite Christmas tradition. All right, so when I finish that, notice right away it changed it to a long answer text. Google's like, oh, you can't just click a multiple choice for that. Sometimes it won't do that, though. And if it doesn't, you can come over here and choose all these answers. Yes, this is how you change what type of question you want. Notice there's a lot to choose from. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, and then there's um, other things. Like you can have a file upload, a linear scale, which means on a scale from 1 to 10, um, multiple choice grid or a checkbox grid, so those just change the way it looks, and including dates and times, so if you were voting for a favorite thing. These are great assets, and you can use them in so many different ways. And today you're required to use a minimum of three different types. Short answer and paragraph are the same type. That does not count as a different type. So a minimum of three different types out of all of these, you can be creative. I have no doubt about it. Once you have a question, if you want it to be mandatory, they fill it out before they turn it in, you click this button to say required. If you don't care if they fill it out, you don't need to click that button, okay? So I'm going to say required because I care. Um, now I'm going to duplicate. You don't have to press duplicate. That's just the easiest way to me to make a new question. Now I'm going to say, um, what is your favorite part of Christmas. And this time I'm going to choose checkboxes because I know that I can never choose one favorite part. And checkboxes allows them to give multiple answers. So I will say presents and then I'm going to come here and I'll say um, worship services are more fun. Decorations are beautiful. Um, Let's see, so many things about Christmas music. Now I want to pause really quick. Notice here I have presents and I have music. Those don't really have any emotional appeal. When I say worship services are more fun, then I'm kind of putting into the people's head that it's fun. Decorations are beautiful. It makes them think of twinkling lights. Really, if I want this survey to be more accurate, I have to take my opinions out of it. So I could say worship services and decorations. And now they're just new options without opinions. And so that's really important if you're trying to gather valid data. Again, today we're experimenting and just playing around. So it's okay if your opinions are very evident. All right, so now I have a checkbox one. Ooh, checkboxes. Sometimes it's important to note how many they're allowed to check. Um, so I could say choose your top three. Notice also I have a grammatical error. How embarrassing. I need it. A question mark there, not just a period. So please make sure you're focusing on grammar when you work on this as well. All right, I need a new question. So this time I'm going to come over here and say add question. All right, um, and this time I'm going to do a multiple choice 
um, how many children are in your family? And so option one would be one because you exist, so therefore. Um, I'm going to go add all, three, four, five. Whew, that was nice, Google. Thanks for helping me out. All right, as soon as I have that, I want to require that question, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add one more only for the sake, um, you have to have five questions. Just know that. If you didn't read, make sure you, you note that. Um, but I also want to note that I'm adding another one just because I want to show you now how you can add an image. So at this point, if you feel like a question would be a really big asset to you, um, then come here and add an image. You can, of course, take a screenshot of any, any image you found, but you can also just search it right here. So um, Christmas decorations. I'm going to look up Christmas decorations. Ooh, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. And so I'm going to put that image in, and my question is going to be, how does this image make you feel? Some people feel anxious when they see Christmas decorations, and others go, oh, so I want to know how you feel. All right, so I've got my questions. I've got three different types of questions. I have a picture in here, which remember a video is allowed as well, um, which you can do over here. There are so many other things you can do on Google Forms, but I won't get into that today. Like you can add sections that you go on to. Um, but today I just want you to focus on those things, as well as making it look pretty, because that matters to me. You can of course just change your theme color, but I want you to choose an image. And over here, notice there's lots of different images you can choose from. So by all means, look through and see what you would like to have as your background image. Should it go with your topic? Yes, it should. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense at all. So please make sure that you find one that seems to make sense. Um, and once you've found one that you feel happy with, your image will pop in. You can change your theme color and your background colors so they fit the way you want. And ta-da, you're done. The last thing you need to do is go to settings and it always automatically clicks this and we never want that. So unclick restrict users to Holy Cross Lutheran because say you want your family to take the survey. Now they can. All right, so then we'll say save. Um, you can preview your, what it looks like and this is what it would look like if somebody were to take it. And so, awesome, now I know they can submit. Oh, except notice this, I have option one. That doesn't make sense. So now I know that I've previewed it, I need to go back and edit. And so rather than this saying option one, I don't want this to be a multiple choice question, I want this to be a short answer question. Phew, glad I fixed that. Once I'm done with that, I'm ready to send, okay? So send, I come to my link, I can shorten my URL if I want, but there's really no point. So I can copy my link by pressing Control C and or pressing the copy button, and I'm ready to send my form. Now you all are going to be dumping this link in two places. One, when you turn in the assignment, click on the attach link button, attach the link there. Done so. Okay. Two, you're going to be attaching it to a Google Doc where we are all sharing our links, um, and the reason we are doing it that way is because so our stream doesn't get so full because sometimes it's fine hard to find everything so you're all going to drop your link here so but I want you actually to embed it it's another great skill so I'm going to say please take not peas but please take Mrs. Mix Christmas survey here and then when I come to here I'm going to highlight it and go up to this link now it's going to say here, but it's at, if you click on the word here, it should take you to that link. And we can test that by coming and clicking. And ta-da, look at this beautiful Google form that you can all fill out for me. So that is what you are doing today. Like I said, you can be silly and creative. The whole point of today is learning the skills. I look forward to seeing your Google forms.